well. Um, but first of all, I would like for us to start with just a little bit of neighborly meaning. So um, either turn to someone uh, next to you that you didn't come here with, right? Share your name, and then share either a word or phrase uh, that's resonating with you right now from uh, the clown town. Um, so if you need to get up, uh, or turn around, be okay. Don't just take a minute to do that. So find a new person, name, or whatever that resonates. Duality 
there is a lot of impact and the loss of innocence, um, uh, ideally. Uh, but I, but my question um, would be that, like, where do you think? Because this is really the Act One um, part of it. Like, where do you think Act Two might go? folks 
your thoughts as a clown, I guess, or as a person, I think I would be really more, you know, the therapy of like, what, you know, like, how did it help you, you know, like, what journey did it take you on, you know? Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, because it's like, it's right now the way it was spoke today, it was like, there were like obstacles that needed to be overcome, like all these strategies and things like that. Yeah, then you can build on that to something about yourself or something that you realize. So then, jumping in, uh, when uh, the, the kind of the thing that we curious about, you can offer them as questions. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not those questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, do you have any stories you'd like to share about the experience of traveling to a gay and dress as a clown? I mean, nothing, right? I mean, a lot of things like, come to mind. I think mostly it's like, you know, definitely I've gotten followed. Um, definitely been like in a bus where all of a sudden, like, people are just like, then they start turning into children because um, they see a clown. And, um, you know, like the good and the bad, there's, there's positive where people just, I've had um, a horde of kids follow me for blocks and blocks and blocks because they saw a clown. And I kept trying to, like, I think I had candy in the next <laughs> Even if you're sitting in your house, it's not, you can't be pedestrian. Are you at all worried if this, uh, if this becomes a really popular play that it will tank your clown career? <laughs>
started stripping it away to nothing. So that, that part where I'm talking about, like, once I started stripping it away, I actually started making more money because all I needed to do was put, like, a red dot on my nose, maybe make some colorful, you know, like, glitter or something like that, and then just wear a baby doll outfit and look like I, like, was a toddler trying to get dressed. So, and you may not know the answer to this yet, because I know this is kind of in development, but what do you hope that the audience gets away from the piece that you're working on? Or do you know? I, I, I mean, there's some things that, I, that I'm, I'm cooking with. I, I think that, like, I look at uh, how audiences, you know, like, connect on two levels on the the the, the veracity of the gameplay because that's literally like and what you were feeling earlier was that danger there is a danger like am i going to get called on am i going to have to like you know turn it away or something like that and there is that like just um, you know fluidity within that and also the deeper connection of like like the the relation to the stories. So we were we are out of time. However, however, if we can each share to close this off, and then you are going to go into the other gallery, right? Uh, so if you have more questions for Tanya, I can offer them to her. Uh, but if uh, folks can think of one word or phrase that they're thinking about to close us off, and we can pop them style. One word. Can you tell I'm a facilitator? One word phrase to close us off. You can just. Fun for fun's sake. Fun for fun's sake. Thank you. Fear of being called. Wait, what? Fear of being called. Oh, fear of being called.